This is a continuation of the previous video called, Using You Will Be OK to Predict the End of Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss. If you have not watched it, please do so now. This video will cover how the song You Will Be OK gives us viewers a look into the deep psyche and character of Stolas. The main thing that inspired me to make this video was literally 16 words. I used to think that I was bold I used to think love would be fun I felt I didn't explain what I thought of these few words in my last video well enough. When Stolas says he used to think he was bold, I take this as he thought he was bold to stand up to God. As for how he thought love would be fun. That's a bit more complicated. When the original fallen angels attempted to overthrow God, it was to be free to commit acts of sin. The fallen angels were never human. They didn't live in a world where sin could be practiced like the mortal world where death and agony are very much possible. And actions had consequences that stung. All they knew was their urges were wrong. But not why. They had no canvas on which the consequences of their actions were painted and hung up for all to see. And for all to weep over. To remember why they were not to do so again. When Stolas was an angel, perhaps he had feelings for Stella. Which he thought were love, but was forbidden from embracing those feelings. The problem was, his feelings were lust. Not love. But he did not understand. Angry with God. He joined the thousands of other demons who wished to be free of God. Of course, we know they failed. It would seem that Stolas now understands what went wrong. How his feelings for Stella were not lasting ones. His lust would not bring happiness. But it would eventually bring unto him a child. Octavia. The one being for which he would learn what true love was. Love is not the lone desire for sex. It is a deep trust understanding genuine care for another but he would not learn until it was too late stolas pledged his loyalty to lucifer pledged to stand with him against heaven and earth but that was a long time ago long before he understood the consequences of his actions the consequence was not just his unhappiness but what he knew would be a broken household for his daughter he finally understood selflessness he regrets how what he's done will affect his daughter. We see the straw that breaks the camel's back. The beginning of what Stolas knew would eventually happen. The day Stella learned Stolas slept with Blitz. Stolas's household is split. Broken. And Octavia suffers because of it. An innocent who knows pain because of the actions of another. A terrible consequence. Now, Stolas knows why lust was not okay. Yet he is forever lost. He cannot turn back. Perhaps, knowing this, he continues to act as a being of pure evil, because it's the only thing he really knows how to do. Like paying Blitz to kill someone who is trying to raise awareness of global warming so many more mortals will die. Perhaps he still has a hatred of mortals and God. If for millennia, or eons, you kept to your beliefs, until one day, everything you knew turned out to be a lie, would you be quick to change? And besides, he has his duties. His loyalty to Lucifer that he must uphold. Because, what if, dare say, Lucifer punishes Stolas for backing away? It would be a wholesale, unyielding, torturous punishment. But worse, what if he were to punish Octavia? So we get to the core of Stolas. His biggest secret. He may be very well be a reluctant servant. He might not want to be a demon anymore. But what choice does he have? He had his chance, and he wasted it. With the final battle between heaven and hell growing ever closer, he has now chosen to be loyal to only one person. His daughter. He will not fight heaven's angels to continue his own miserable existence, or to ensure the supremacy of hell, but for his daughter. And if God is merciful, and decides to spare Octavia, Stolas will not fight at all. He will gladly be erased if it saves her. He has, in a way, already been redeemed. But is not able to ascend to heaven like Charlie wishes. He is trapped. Afraid to step away from evil. He is still tainted. 
to learn his fate. We can only watch and wait. By the way, I have decided to make more videos on this subject. Surprising. I know. But there really is a lot packed into this one song.